Hi everyone, I'm just popping back in to show you one of the biggest journals I think I have ever created so far. This is my vintage sewing themed journal. This is actually for Auntie Trizza here on YouTube. Um, everybody else may know her as Ebba Ashton on Facebook through the Junk Journal Junkies group and so forth. And so this is for her. So the cover has been constructed from one of the large 9x12 envelopes folded in half. Well, it kind of, I should have extended it because it's bursting. It's a single signature. I covered that with just some brown packaging paper. And then I've put the sewing pattern over the top of that, sewed around it, put some Mod Podge on it, and then put my image onto it as well. So it's 9 by 6 in size. The spine, I just put some rosette trim on there and just a little seam binding ribbon. And then we have the chunky charm that I made. This was the very first one I did. And we have just a yarn there, a safety pin, a tape measure, a sewing machine, and button. And then I've just got all the bead dangles on there. Oh, and some scissors. So that's that. So one big chunky monkey. I just kept adding to it. So today I did the whole, that is enough. It's not going to hold anymore. So I started working on this probably end of December. And I slowly worked on it throughout January and February. And so here we are. So let's do a quick flip through. I've lost track of how many pages I actually put in here. Um, all the inspiration has come from Pinterest on different images that um, I liked and thought I'd give it a go. Um, I have used the Dreams Etc kit and I'll put the link to that um, down below because I forgot to check the name of the kit so I'm very very sorry. But I'll put the link to this kit down below. It's just some of the journaling pages that are in it. They're very very pretty. And then I've stamped the lines on the back and we have a Rita Donnelly flip here and I stamped my lines the wrong way so sorry. Then in here we have one of the sewing pattern booklets and I've just popped some images I got from Pinterest and this is a tag that I've stamped on. That's that side there. And that's the back and that just sits in the pocket. A glassing bag just sticks here onto the page with the clip. Did some stamping and this is just more of the pattern paper. The sewing pattern um, stuck down to the paper. The glassing bag has just got some layering on it and the tag doesn't come off, it sits there. Um, it's got a button on there. Just some ephemera piece from Kayser Craft. And then I've just stuck a big postcard that I've had in my stash for quite some time into the bag. And then it just sticks back on like that. Then on this side, I've made a pocket out of some more of the pattern paper and just put some trim on there, stamped on some of the um, muslin fabric. And that's a bit of gauze and just the button with um, some embroidery thread. And then these here, the um, fasteners, snap fasteners. I believe I got these from Julie Duncan. I purchased them from her, from her Bears and Laces shop. So I'll put the link to that as well. And that's just some note paper out of the journaling, just out of a notepad. And then this glassine bag I've sewn around the image that I got from Pinterest and that's been stuck onto the glassine bag. And then there's just a tag in here that I've stamped on and just a bit of a vintage button. I'm going to try and go quick because it's quite big and it could end up a two-part video this one. And this is a spread I got from Pinterest. I really liked the look and of course it's got the collage layering which I'm actually in love with at the moment. So I gave that a go and that's in the blue. And just the tag with the stamped butterfly. And that can be a tuck spot in there as well. Um, I've got a lace belly band here and just some journaling cards, ephemera from Tsunami Rose and just another tag that I stamped on. 
and I have a paper clip holding all this in because otherwise it does fall through and I've just put some rosette trim on there one of the other pages from the journaling kit and I just stuck on here some um, applique piece and some trims crochet trims that I've had and that's just some of the sewing pattern that I've ruffled up and sewn on and we have a lace pocket here just a bit of layering going on there and some ephemera to write on this pocket's really difficult to get things in and out of I don't know if it's the lace that keeps getting caught on things the tag that I actually got from Julie Duncan as well and just some buttons on a button card and a glassing bag that's from Pinterest they're from Sue Olsen's shop the dress forms and it's just backed with some coffee stained paper and these are Auntie May's from her sewing kit there's a few of the journaling cards in there tuck spot up here so it's a button card and just stamped on some fabric it's a stamp from Kayser Craft a journaling card from Pinterest and more of the Auntie Mays from her sewing kit this is my favorite spread again I got this one from Pinterest as well and it just unties and it's an envelope there isn't anything in it and it's just a doily from a tattered dream decoupaged on and then just the little vintage girl decoupaged on top um, and then just a bit of light stamping it's from a chipboard piece and just some bling down the bottom and that's just some layered hearts from the pattern paper I've gessoed over the top of that and just put some appliques on there as well tuck spot here and just an applique sitting in the top corner I get all these sorts of things from my sister she sews she makes tutus and I get a bit of her off cuts from time to time and that was from the old design shop and this is a pocket here and I don't have anything in it because it's very fragile it's just one of the um, simplicity patterns and so I've just got a paper altered paper clip and I've put a button card on there and just a bit of off cut from some scrapbook paper you can journal on the back and then this tag here also came from Julie Duncan some more of the journal pages and um, that's just some fabric tape that I've glued down that's um, a rub on sticker and it's just some of the pattern paper sewn in on a ruffle and some cheesecloth and a few little appliques that I've put in on there and then I made a pocket out of the pattern instructions and it's just got some paper from Kayser Craft on there and these I found on the um, old design shop so you can journal on the back and in the pocket little pocket um, this envelope I got from Donna Turner I just put um, a bit of a coffee stained a blingy lace on the bottom trim and these are from Kayser Craft preserve your memories keep them well what you forget you can never retell and they sit in there and this here flips out has a journal card in the back again that's a Kayser Craft paper line and I will put that name to that on the back um, it's a pocket there with some stamping and in the back here I put some lace and this was gifted to me by a friend here uh, Kerry Tibbs we were doing our pocket letter swaps she sends me these little bits of extra bits in these little tiny bags and that sort of was her stamp on there so I've put that in there um, and that's this little stamp tag there and just a butterfly stamp tag there keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable 
So yeah, I've got a few new stamps from Kaiser Craft while I was down there last time. And I just have a little Tim Holtz paper clip down here that actually holds this in place. I don't want to lose it. Then on this side, this flips out and I've just layered it with some fabric and stamped on it and just put a bit of um, dangle trim. I don't know what you call this stuff, but anyway. So it's got a bulb pin and just the yarn charm dangling down. And then here the tag pulls out and I've just did some stamping on that. This is just a collage page. And then I have a doily here. A little bit of a tuck flip there, so that's just some decoupaging from a napkin. And that comes out, so decoupaging off a napkin, and this is the tag. Always wear your invisible crown. And on the end I've just tied off some cheesecloth on it. The tuck spot is made out of a button tag. These are from Artie Mays, so it's the pocket from the kit and the ephemera pieces. And dress form and the envelope and it has the tag that I've sewn around on there. I'm looking forward to working with this kit too. Now this is a big boo-boo. <laughs> this wasn't meant to happen. It's a kind of a happy accident and I'm leaving it there. I'm not going to yank it out. This was actually meant to be I was supposed to make another pocket out of this and when I stitched the journal in I forgot to remove this piece of paper and so it got stitched in on an angle so I thought well it's a sewing journal so let's just leave that like that <laughs> some more of the digi kit glassine bag on here and again this one is from the old design shop and you can just journal on the back been all inked and tag this one again is from Julie Duncan and the image is from Auntie Mays as well some stamping and the ruffle trim down the bottom here from the pattern paper it's a tsunami rose die cut flower and just some more journaling cards these are from got off Pinterest little mouse pocket here so we've got a little tuck down here with the glassine bag and that's tsunami rose flower and then I decoupage the rose onto the tag and that sits under there they're from tsunami rose and just some ephemera and another tag and some stamping on the top this is just a decoupage page some ephemera from tsunami rose a bit of trim and we've got um, some material here with some hessian on it the tag is from Kaiser Craft and this applique I actually bought from Meg's garden and just some layering here and we have a pocket here and I just made a little tuck spot just some ephemera from Kaiser Craft and some stamping that was my new stamp I'm using it on everything and these ephemera cards, journal cards, are from Tsunami Rose, um, Kaiser Craft as well. So I'll put the um, name of this sewing line for Kaiser Craft in the bottom. It's another digi kit from Dreams Etc. page. Sorry, middle of the signature. And the die cut that I've got has got some thimbles on it. So I just um, die cut out some thimbles. So I've got some thimbles on a string. Another tuck spot here, small stamping. These are also from Julie Duncan. They're very old. They just sit in there. Oops. And just another tag. It's my new stamp from Kaiser Craft as well. And that I've cut out from the paper line. And this is a tuck spot here. So I've just stitched the button card onto the tag and then stitched it onto the page and just a tag from some of the paper line from the digi kit from the paper line from Kaiser Craft and this was just some leftovers so 
you can journal on that. And then we have a pocket here with some layering, little cloth tag, some ephemera. This is sewing ephemera from a vint. Tsunami Rose. And again from Tsunami Rose. And then up the top I've just layered on here and just have another bulb pin and a button. And my decoupage page, this has got the corrugated heart punch. Um, that's from A Tattered Dream, the gold trim, and it's just got some sari silk there. And these are from Pinterest, and that's Tsunami Rose library card. And that's a more Tsunami Rose die cut flower. The pocket here is just some layering. This was an Angie Butler inspired one. And tag. And tag here is from Julie Duncan again. It's from Pinterest. And again from Pinterest. Some journaling space. This one here also opens up. I wonder if we can zoom in a bit. Okay, so the image is off of Pinterest and it flips up. And that's another image I got from Pinterest. You can journal on here. You can journal on there. And then another image on there. And it's made out of the pattern tissue paper. probably wondering how I do my bows up this way it's because the only way I know how <laughs> and in behind it is a tuck spot and I have another of these journaling fold outs so in here for journaling space and then it just has the three library cards across the back another tuck spot it's decoupage flower Tsunami Rose and again Tsunami Rose and it's just some cardstock I stamped on another doily and this hold the clip holds the page shut so that flips out and open and then we have the Tiffany & Co stamp it's from Tsunami Rose and an image I found on Pinterest. And then I've decoupaged or we'll cut out a bit of a flower here and that's a rub on. Someone commented not too long ago about how funny it is that I put everything back in its right place. If I don't, I will never remember where I put things. <laughs> okay, so that sticks on there too, so that's just a piece of ephemera. Okay, and then I just have some layering here with some um, com trim and some rosette trim and just a bit of the fibres. And that's more of the digi paper. This is another one of the simplicity patterns. So I opened them up in the sides and I put a spine <clears throat> thing in the middle and then closed them back up. So this is just some ephemera and I have a needle charm on there. It's actually empty in here. I had to reinforce the top of this with some washi tape, which is measuring tape. There's a, it's a bit fragile, so it is empty. And then on this side, I found this on Pinterest, I think it was. So that just sits there and you can use that for journaling. Okay, so here we have another pocket. Again, the image I think was from the old design shop. And so is that and that. They're just journaling cards. And then I just repeated this page again because I liked it so much. And on the bottom of the trim on this one, I've got the measuring tape charm. And then the sewing machine is stamped on that tag. 
Um, I didn't put the doily in it just to make it just a little bit different and I turned this into a tuck spot. The other one is not and it has the bulb clip and some charms and the trim is different. So this is from the paper line from Kayser Craft and a bit of the ephemera piece from Kayser Craft. And we have another pocket here from the sewing pattern and the